But we two darling children be doing out here bothering our pa when you know you should be inside doing your reading. We weren't bothering him, Ma. He was just telling us about when he used to be a pirate. And about Peter and then. And but then he stopped doing all that bad stuff when he met you. So that's what he was telling you now, was he? Well then, we won't be needing any more talk about pirates. Now will we, Mr. Gilbert Pike? We most certainly will not, Mrs. Pike. <laughs> Ma, you knew that Peter used to just like Pa, didn't you? John, yes I did. No, that is all. Run along, the both of you. There are two books waiting inside for you on the table, and the pages are open, just waiting to be read. Did you hear that, Kathleen? I told you she knew him, too. Be quiet, John. Ma said no more talk about pirates. Oh, Gilbert. Gilbert. Peter Easton. I want so much for all that to be behind us, but every time I hear his name, I... You know he has never forgiven you for jumping ship, and he has never forgiven me for marrying you instead of him. And we both know what will happen if he finds out that we're here in Carboneer. I'm sure he will. Someday. Sheila, my love, you have nothing to worry about. Even if Peter does come here, there are enough of us now, all good men, brave men, and we can defend ourselves and you, Sheila, against ten Peter Eastons. You know that. Yes, but it's the children I'm thinking about, Gilbert. I just want them to have something better. To be able to live here with no fear of a Peter Easton or whoever. That's all I've ever wanted for them, Gilbert. Every day, that's all I wish for. You know that. Never live in fear of Peter Easton or any other man. 